today we are in Sherman Oaks and we're going to show you the most amazing, amazing house. It's actually the most expensive house per square foot built by a builder who holds records for building the most expensive house in each different neighborhood. We just had a quick preview of the house. It's insane. It's got some amazing amenities and we're going to show you. Let's go. And there's a zebra in the window. A what? Zebra. Isn't that a zebra? Depends where you're from. Where are you from? Same place as you are. <laughs> I've been here longer. Look how cool that bell is. Everything in this house is cool. We're on TV. Do you remember Candy Camera? I do. Oh, hey man. guys, welcome. So good to see you. Pleasure seeing you as well, Michael. Adam, how are you? Adam? good to see you. You had every concept, you built it, you did everything, right? Yes. And you've set some records in various neighborhoods as having the most expensive house because it was the best house. Is that Definitely. accurate? Tell us about this one. So this one, you're looking at 5,600 square feet living space, five bedrooms, six bathrooms and a pot room, spa room, plus three car garage. Well, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And uh, we want to go exploring, right? I'm ready, feel free. Thank you. Isn't this gorgeous? So we were told some things about this house that are staggering. For example, the lighting is, if I'm not mistaken, each bulb was, was it $450? $400 per bulb. And it does something special. Yeah, so apparently it matches the uh, light of the day. So basically it doesn't mess with your circadian rhythm. So at nine o'clock at night, if you let it do its thing, the lights are gonna be dimmer and the color different, the color temperature is gonna be different. So it means that your body is kind of more in tune with its natural sleep-wake cycle. Very, very clever. Very clever. It also has something with the air as well. It has a air filtration that's constantly running throughout the house. Yep, so it has uh, air purification things. There's one in the kitchen we can show them in a minute. But yeah, air purification. Uh, so it basically detects the air quality in a certain room. So like if you're cooking something smelly, it will detect that and it will pump extra air out of this space. How does it space know? Through these, look. But how does it know it's smelly? Uh, it uses, do you really want to get this nerdy? Because I just bought air filters, so I know how this works. I have air filters too, but I don't think it knows the difference between fragrance and fish. Well, it, t it detects molecules within the air because it has a little laser thing. So it can detect down to like 2.5 particles per million or something. It's, it's insane that is how they insane. work. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, basically it runs it through a HEPA filter. And then I'm sorry, I asked. Look at this. House, this is absolutely amazing. Everything was built specifically for the house. This isn't finished yet. This is going to be Elevator. A... Elevator? Is this the elevator? No, this oh. is a chiller. Um, oh gosh, I was told what it is and I've forgotten, but it's some kind of a, a chiller. Would you like me to tell them what it is? Yes, please. So this is for fruits and vegetables and things that don't need to be kept as cold as they do in the fridge, but they need to be How kept you know cooler stuff? than, I had an energy drink before we got here and I am zinging right now. Oh my word. I had a Perrier water, so there you go. <laughs> fridge, freezer, and wine in the middle of the Sub-Zero. I've never seen that before, it's beautiful. Yeah, I really like that. Look at this. How nice. I wonder what that was. It was the microphone oh, did, on the camera get you in tickling me. <laughs> this kitchen is truly amazing. I don't think in any house we've ever seen, there's been an array of cooking stuff and it's all wolf, which is as good as you can get. That is, I'm assuming a hot plate, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I mean, this is amazing. It's 15 feet long. Unbelievable. Okay, I know what these are. Burners, burners, barbecue thing. Wok. Yes? Why are you laughing? Just barbecue thing. This is for steaming vegetables. Are you impressed that I'm I know this? Very impressed, yeah. Dishwasher. Another dishwasher. The sink is cut into the marble. I guess they would have had to form this. Mm -hmm. But I mean, everything's perfect. Like Everything is perfect. Look, have you seen this? The waterfall edge here. I saw it book matched. It looks so good. So good. These faucets, you don't say faucets in England, do you? You just say taps. Taps. Yeah. Taps are incredibly expensive. I think, I think you said $3,000 a tap. You did. And is that a shower head? Well, I wouldn't call it a shower head. I would call it a, I think you have to switch the water on. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe it's 
I don't know how uh, it works. Maybe that's not plumbed. Oh, maybe. wait, no, no, do it. So turn this tap on and then turn that lever. No, no idea. No, there's a way of doing it. I don't know. Maybe it's not hook, hooked up yet. Got to remind everyone, this house, no one's ever been in it before with a camera. It's brand, brand new, and it still has some little bits of tweaks that they're doing to it. So there you have it. Look at the length of this. It's like a commercial kitchen. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, also every single tap inside is filtered. So you can drink filtered water from every single tap in That's here. That's amazing. Yeah. There's a, a phenomenal uh, water filtration plant, which we'll show you. Here we have a pantry. I love these. They're good, aren't they? They're so good, they're so good. Maybe we can take those with us. Yeah, I think I will, I'm starving. Very, very nicely done pantry. Microwave. That's a widescreen microwave. It's huge, isn't it? <laughs> Seriously, have you ever seen a widescreen microwave before? That was nice. Oven, oven. These are, I mean, this this kitchen is, did you hear that? I did. This kitchen is just full of goodies. This is a drawer freezer. That's awesome. There's another, I think this is a fast cook oven and of course the cappuccino maker. And there's actually a that. secret thing here as well. What's that? Oh, what does that do? Vacuum seals food. Vacuum seals food? Yeah. Gotta love that. That is a bougie leftover. That machine. is very bougie. Anyway, so there it is. What a gorgeous room. It's stunning. It really this is, is stunning. one of my favorite parts of the entire place. The Look cactus. how just, just that little setup with the mirror and the little cacti. It's just, I don't know. Is something it real? about it. No. It's prickly. I believe a, a realtor would call it a moment. This moment. It is a moment. It's delightful. It's, and it's, it really is delightful. And it takes some thinking about to do that, right? I did take a picture of it because I want it for my house. You do? Yeah. Lovely little breakfast nook. Very well designed, very well designed. And the thing about this house, it's $5.99 million, $6 million. And this is luxury living because the house itself is, I think, 5,600 square feet. Luxury living without being in a $20 million mansion, and it has more than many of the $20 million mansions that we've actually seen. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, look at the floor. Herringbone tiles, just beautifully done. Let's go see some more. Love the living room. I know that that will drive you insane because <laughs> it's not centered, but it, I'm sure it's done for a reason. I mean, the good thing is, it actually is centered. The TV is centered, but it's just the fact that this is fat and this is skinny. It just kind of throws me. But that's a feature. But I, do, I like it. I Good. like it. That's a first that you've overcome your OCD. <laughs> Dining room is lovely. Again, has wine coolers, wine storage, and a big table. Oh, this is massive, isn't it? It's massive. But the best part to me <laughs> is this guy. Should I get on it? <laughs> I mean, you can. No, I won't. But it's very nice. I see one of these in my future. What do you think? Yeah, I can see one of these in your house. So I have a, an amazing bulldog, huge bulldog, which is in a similar vein. It's like so big. You will see this in my house. I am going to buy it. Really? Yes. I am going to buy it and have it shipped <laughs> to Beverly Hills. I love it. And we got that from Arts and Cars. I got that from Arts and Cars in Geneva. Uh, and I've been looking for a friend for it. So here's the friend. <laughs> Somehow I'm gonna end up with that. Giant fruits everywhere. Let's continue. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Giant fruits. Well, there's a big pear and I saw an apple. Yeah, there's there's, a big there's pear. the apple, yeah, this see? This is what the, the horse eats. And, and it is kind of larger than what you'd normally expect a pear to be, It's right? larger than an average pear, yeah. But it's lovely. Okay, continue. Can, uh, can I just show you one more thing? Yes, please. Quickly. Do you know what this is? It's plant yeah. and it's real. Yeah. So, and it's living yeah. and it's self-sustaining. Yeah. How am I doing? Perfect. Amazing, right? And somehow you put water in it once every blue moon mm -hmm. and it just takes care of itself. Mm -hmm. Right there, that plug. So it's just yeah. a hydroponic planter. And if you were so inclined, you could grow whatever you liked in there. What I, are you suggesting? I, I won't say because of YouTube, but you know, if you wanted to grow something else in there, you could. Something that makes you a bit taller. Something that makes you live on top of a mountain. Is that what you're saying? Or feel like you are. Hi. <laughs> Up on the mountain. The single car garage. And this is the water filtration that I was telling you about. Wow. Isn't that cool? That's serious. 
I have the same thing in my house. Do you have these? Yeah. Wow. I really like how they've done the copper pipe work as well. And especially the way that it's visible as opposed to hidden behind the walls. Yeah. And there's a lot of plugs up there. I wonder what they're for. So, mate, six million dollars for this place. Yes. Already, just from the floor we've done, the fit and finish and features are way better than a lot of the... They are, and we haven't finished the floor yet because it just goes on. So here we have a very nice office, and I'm loving these feature walls. And I don't know if you noticed, but the ceilings also, they have wood on them. It's just beautiful. Like yeah. this house. The, seriously, the, like you say, the attention to detail. This is one of those breathing units, right, for the air filtration. Why are you laughing? I'm not, I'm just breathing units. But <laughs> air quality sensor. Let's go to the next room. Yeah. Yes, air quality sensor. Yeah, a little sniffer. But isn't this, isn't this nice? Cozy? It's gorgeous, yeah. This is like a mudroom area, I guess. Yep. Hang your coats, put your boots, lovely guest toilet. Oh, look at how pretty this is. Ooh, see that sensor light come on? Yes, I did. I mean, look at, this is so cool. Look at the, ta the um, handles. This is probably the nicest taps faucet I've ever seen. This is cool. I want it. Expensive as well, I, pre I presume. Even just down to like having those cutouts in that wall. With the lighting. So thought about, right? Yeah. Very special house. Okay, let's continue. Here we have a guest bedroom, one of the five. The door handles are lovely. Yeah, I noticed that when we've been walking around. Nice little closet. Walk -in closet. Very nice. More than adequate for a guest. You don't want guests to stay too long, right? I don't. <laughs> Depends. And the bathroom. Again, more than adequate for a guest. The tiles they've chosen are so nice. Yeah, and the black hardware is really, really very pretty. Look at this. Oh wow, oh that's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's all like molded one piece. Again, stuff you don't usually see. Just that extra bit of detail. Yeah, can we have Whoop. a little peek outside? Just just cause? Have a peek. Okay. Have a peek. Because I really like this back garden. Very bright. The sun is shining. Yeah, it's a little sun trap, isn't it, this back garden? I love the swings. We'll go out there shortly. Look, another giant fruit. This one's not quite so giant, but it's definitely larger than your average fruit. What? Okay, so now I believe we've completed the lower level. This, we're not going in, they're working on it. It's the engineering room where the Crestron brain is for the house, because it's a smart house, of course. And uh, yeah, like I said, we won't go in there. And then the other side over there, people might have noticed there was a door by the pantry. That's the big garage. Yes, double garage, yeah. so there's a three car garage total. Another thing that I've noticed, there's no baseboard going up the side of the step. Makes it look so much nicer. Yeah, it's cool. I do, it, yeah. It's, because oftentimes you see the cutouts, this is just so clean. Yeah, but again, look, the tile that they've used on the, the vertical section of the stairs, just little details Yeah, like you don't that. normally see stuff like that, no. right? Okay, so let's go to the left. Laundry room. Oh no, where, where's Mike? Michael's not in here. Oh, oh, there he is. I wonder what this is. No, what? in this house, probably a place to put another fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it is, seriously. Let's have a purpose. Washer dryer, sink, and then we have another bedroom, which is lovely. Everything's different, each room's completely different. Yeah. Seriously, I am gobsmacked with the fit and finish in this place. So, why did I walk into the hall? Why did I do that? I was looking at the ceiling. Because up here we have some of the, the lights that we were told were $1,000 each. Is that right? Correct, yeah. $1,000 each. Here's another one of those growing machines. 
They're really cool. And what a great feature to have. It's beautiful. And also just for like air purification, just having live plants is so good for How the How do you air. plant it? Uh, so they're hydroponic. So these little guys will be in like very small hockey pucks of growing stuff. It's not dirt, it's almost like a sponge. And then the, so all the roots go inside here. So this thing will just be full of roots. Interesting. And then it showers them from the top, pumps the water from the bottom up to the top and just waters them. Thank you for that info. Getting back to the bulbs. So <laughs> he's laughing again. <laughs> You're like, thank you for the it's useless like information. Walking encyclopedia. <laughs> and then here you have a sitting area and a little nook. We've never seen anything quite like this in a house, at least I don't remember seeing anything I like love this. this. This is super, isn't it? If you had kids, this Put would be a TV great... on this wall. Yeah. And then you sit out here, fireplace. And like I said, it's it's all brand new, so that'll have logs one day. It's gas. Sit in the avocado chair. No. Go on, it looks no, comfy. I have my phone in my pocket. I'll take it out. It looks comfy. Doesn't it need a cushion? I don't think so, no. You're no, tricking no, me, no, you're I'm tricking not. me. I you, swear. You, 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 go ahead. I swear go, go, to God, no. Sit in the avocado. I'm laughing because I was going to say something just, inappropriate. Just sit in the avocado chair. Hold on. It's way more upright than you think it's going to be. Yeah, it doesn't look comfy. It, it's not uncomfy, but I, I thought it was going to have some give. How am I doing as a cameraman? Much more stable than me. Love the light fitting. Everything they've done, everything, even the brass on the top. I mean, this really is a home that if you just picked it up and dropped it into Beverly Hills would be $10 million more. At least $10 million more. Isn't yeah. that a crazy concept? It, it really is. And you know where this home is located, it's central to everything. You've got Burbank, you've got the studios, you've got Studio City, you've got all the banks, all the, uh, you know, I mean, it's big, big business here. So yeah, why spend that extra money? Well, I think that's the thing, isn't it? Is that, do you want to live somewhere where you have all of the amenities and you have all of the luxuries that you would expect from a luxury home or for cheaper, or do you want to have the zip code just to say that you And a live. much smaller house right. with less amenities, yeah. Yeah. Oh, check this out. This is like something out of um, like a Marilyn Monroe movie, right? Black Swan. I wonder how many people know who Marilyn Monroe was. Let us know in the comments. Do Let us know, know who you know was who Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe? Monroe. This easel is amazing too. Look at this with the crank. Beautiful stuff. That's awesome. Lovely room again. Very, very nice and a great shower with a loofah. What do you call those? Yeah. Loofah. Loofah, I'm doing well. Okay, let's go in the master bedroom. Did we go in that bedroom? We did not go in nope. that bedroom. Let's see what we have here. Here, hold on. Ta-da! Lights, beautiful bathtub. So nice. Okie dokes. Let's continue. Let's go in the master. Beautiful. Look at these lights. Are they lights? Yeah. yeah. Do they spin out? No, uh, I don't know. Oh, how could you do that? And like that, so that you oh, can- Oh, it's easy. Angle them, and then you can do your reading. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, check that out. Look, you can turn them into up lighters as well, if you want. Great details. Haven't seen anything like that in a house before either, have we? No. Fireplace, TV goes there. Oh, a little bar. Little bar, little area for speakers. Lovely closet. Beautifully done, right? Mate, I am gobsmacked. This is such a beautiful house. So well done. The attention to detail is incredible. Very nicely done. And then here we have, what do we have here? Oh, check out this bathtub. And the wheels again. Yeah. These are great. That's this is awesome. a big tub. It is. Very big tub. Look at that shower. Steam shower has a little vent. And I think that's where the steamer unit goes. The, the control, it's not on there yet, but clearly built for it. And here's a loo. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Hello. Oh, hello. I like this. Yeah, ship lap. Excuse me? I think it's called, or it's a variation of ship lap. That's not what I thought you said. 
we have to be very careful with what we say. Amazing. How do you do hot and cold? I think it depends on how far you turn it, right? Yeah, it makes yeah, sense. I, I, yeah, I felt it change. Yeah, yeah. So I guess it mixes, it's like a mixing tap. Yeah. Okay, let's go outside. So let's pop outside into this like mini oasis. That is going to be the theatre. We can't show it because it's not complete yet. We were asked not to. But on the right hand side here, we have a very similar structure that's for, I think, massage or a gym. Right now it has a massage table in it. How yummy does that sound? Isn't this lovely? Yeah, this is great. It really is. Great shower. That's a, oh, steam room as well. A uh, steam room as well, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Very, very nice. I mean, again, for six million bucks, you get in a house with six its own bucks spa. Is still a lot of money, but you don't get this in a, normally in a six million dollar house, right? But think about the pricing in LA right now, just to get like a basic three bedroom family a million house. million dollars, right? Basic. What, yeah, 1.2, 1.3. Is it really that much money? For, for t and in an area where you wouldn't necessarily want to live. That's it's crazy. Unbelievable. No, this, this offers a lot of value, a lot of value. And here, there is an Argentinian grill going here, which fills this entire area. Um, and it does, I don't know what it does. What does it do? Grills. It, yeah, it doesn't come with a chef, but anyway. And then here's another one. They're like doing 40 grand, I think. They're really, they really, really expensive. Yeah. Because it's from Argentina or because it's that good? Yeah, just the shipping. <laughs> It's a four hundred dollar grill. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's where you cook all your new. Tools. This is a what is this? I don't know how to open it. I'm going to call it a fryer. Don't pull it. We don't know what it is. You're determined. What is it? Look at that. That's clever. Garbage. And then this is going to have a pizza oven in it. It is. Yep. Beautiful. And then of course you have got the saltwater pool. The spa is built. How does that work then? So the spa is built into the pool at a lower level. So if you heat this up, it heats everything up. Yeah, I, wa I wonder if the level is maybe a tiny bit high at the moment, because we've had all that rain. That's true, it could be, it could be. And then at the end you have waterfalls. And also the beauty of having a pool with a dark bottom is that it'll heat the pool naturally with the sun and retain the- And retain the heat, right? Yeah, so you don't have to pay as much. Very, very, very nice. Yeah, everything is so well thought about. The best part is this. Oh, he's gonna go on his hammock. How about this? <laughs> That's so cool. Isn't it cool? Like a floating this sofa. Lovely, absolutely lovely. What a great house. Isn't it? It looks like a castle from the back, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, beautiful, beautiful house. All the information about it will be in the description. Sorry that I'm swinging, I don't want to make you dizzy, but it's so relaxing. Here, I'll, I'll go at the same pace and then it'll look like you're just standing still. There you go. <laughs> We're in it to win it. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and yeah, uh, I'm going to chill. Bye.